I, it's been a, I wouldn't say a rough week, it's just been a busy week. Mm -hmm. Trying to visit those who were sick and I wanted to visit some and couldn't because, you know, they won't let you in the hospital and the re rehabilitation centers because of COVID-19. So, so we can say this with certainty that these are some sad days because we can't visit and do things for family members that we should be doing. But still we can pray from a distance and yeah. we can pray and ask God to have mercy and to heal and do what only God can do. Yeah. On yesterday, I, again, I had an opportunity to meet with Pastor Rayford and we laughed and we joked and we listened to a little jazz. I know y'all probably said, Pastor, you listen, but how many know that's what Pastor Rayford liked? Amen. So I have to do what he liked. Because <laughs> In other words, I just can't go over there and say, let's do it my way. Uh -huh. But I have to kind of fit into what he likes to do. Yeah. And that's and that cools his mind and, yeah. and remind him that everything's gonna be all right. Yeah. But yeah. but on yesterday I had we did a I I didn't know there was a setup. He had like 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 five or six people on a phone conference and he said he wanted me to pray. So he set it up. I, he had already did it. He said, Can you come by? And he's, I said, okay, but he had already set it up. And that was really what made his day for me to pray over him. Amen. And I'm not going to hold you long today, but I, 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 I did a lot of traveling up and around Columbus. And the message today, you'll, you'll get, you, hopefully you get to see what I see. Most people say, I can't see what you see. And I said, well, oh, God only gives it to me. So I'm so thankful. So let us pray this morning. Heavenly Father, we come this morning just standing in the need of prayer. Yes. Father God, many of us know that there's a lot going on in and through our lives. Yeah. Father God, we can look around our families. We can look around our neighborhoods. We can look around this whole world. Father God, this election is here on the horizon, Father God. Many are, are in despair because they don't know what's going to happen between November the 3rd and whenever the house will be turned over. Father God, we don't know, but we know that you know. So we're asking you now, just continue to keep us in your grace, keep us in your mercy. Continue to let us focus on you and not on anything else. Help us to be led and guided by your holy word. Order our steps in your word this morning, Father God, that we may be obedient unto your command. And then, Father God, let us help somebody else along the way, Father God. Somebody don't know the way, but let them know that Jesus is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord you are our strength and you are our redeemer. It's in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. So my brothers and sisters if you would turn with us this morning to almost to the end of the Bible. First John again not John but 1 John, chapter number 5, and we would like to read verses 10 to 13, but we would like to lay our kickstand down this morning, focus on verse number 11. Again, 1 John, chapter number 5, starting at verse number 10 through 13. Again, 1 John, chapter number 5. Starting at verse 10 through 13. And it reads, He that believeth on the Son of God has the witness in himself. He that believeth not God has made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. Verse 11 said, And this is the record. That God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. 12 says, He that has the Son has life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. 13 said, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. That ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. 
You may be seated. I was wondering if I were going to tell you what happened and why I came up with this passage of Scripture. So let me do that first. So here it is. I'm going to an appointment. I'm driving down the road. Like I always do, I'm being observant to my surroundings. And here it is up on the billboard. And you'll get this as soon as I say it. It said these words. In good hands. Mm -hmm. Now you already know where I'm going with this. I don't, I don't even have to say, I don't even have to say anything else. Mm -hmm. But what came to my mind was this topic. Are you insured? Now, if you look at the sign and say, in good hand, now, all you know what insurance company I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't even have to call the name because you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But the question that came, Deacon Austin, in my spiritual mind was, are you insured? Are you insured? Mm -hmm. But then I, so I began to say, well, are you insured then? What type of plan do you have? Yeah. <laughs> because... If I had to use a subtopic this morning, it would be God's protection plan. Oh, yeah. right. My brothers and sisters, I'm on, I ain't going to preach but for a little while. Because my brothers and sisters, there's things in advertisement that catches our attention. Have you ever been watching TV and, and, and there was a slogan that came on that says, I leave the light on for you. Now you know what, now you know what, 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 what hotel chain I'm talking about. Now that's Motel 6. But what I'm saying is different things catches our attention. And this sign in good hands began to allow me to process this both physically and spiritually. And you might be saying, Pastor, what are you saying? Because are you insured? Because all these cars out here on this church parking lot, mm -hmm. you need some insurance. All right. All right. All right. That's right. And, and what am I saying here? Because if you ain't got no insurance, well. <laughs> then you better either be very careful all right. or you better not have no accident. All right. Because insurance is what? It protects you, not just from yourself. But it also protects you from other people. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So my brothers and sisters, the truth is, or the matter is, today, I looked at the news the other day, they're talking about health care, mm -hmm. underlying conditions. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be covered with these pre-existing conditions? Mm -hmm. I know you're not worried about it, but that's, what the, that's what's on the news. That's what this upcoming election is talking about. And I don't know about you, but I'm concerned about my treatment. Or whether or not if I go to the doctor or you, am I going to get treatment or not? So as I looked at this God insurance plan versus the physical plan, the truth is we have assurance, we have insurance, and then we have insurance. Oh, yeah. So my brothers and sisters, when you're shopping, for instance, there are all kinds of insurance policies out there on the market. And they all are available depending on the rate that you want to pay. Wow. My brothers and sisters, they're, they're there. But the question is, do you ever read the fine print? <laughs> Have you ever looked at your insurance policy and say that if you get so many tickets, <laughs> We'll drop you. <laughs> Have you? I'm just saying, they're, they're in the fine print. But how many know we don't often read the fine print? That's right, that's right. But I'm so glad when I look at the fine print this moment, <laughs> the fine print, I don't have to wonder, I don't have to guess, I know what it says about God's word in the fine print that we have eternal life. That's right. That's right. And nobody else but the son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my brothers and sisters, an insurance policy is supposed to be a fallback plan. <coughs> it's supposed to help you when you have an accident or a mishap. Well. 
My brothers and sisters, there are some insurance companies that will drop you and not even tell you. And then there are some insurance companies that deem you as high risk. So they won't insure you. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad that regardless of my condition, That's right. Jesus always loves me oh, yeah. Yeah. no matter how I am. That's right. That's right. My brothers and sisters, if you expect to drive or go to the doctor, mm -hmm. or if you expect to weather the storms in this life, mm -hmm. well, you need both auto, then you might need health, and then you might need some home insurance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But all of these are available. Mm -hmm. But can I tell you what else is available this morning? Yeah. God's protection plan which is in none other than Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yes, 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 so yes. my brothers and sisters, 1 John is very familiar to us. Many of us know the author and the writer, the Apostle John. John is considered the Apostle of Love. Love is mentioned throughout 1 John. It's also throughout John, you know, the Gospel of John. Many believe that Apostle John is one of the 12 disciples that Jesus chose. Mm -hmm. He was a disciple whom many say Jesus loved. That's along right. with, you know, Peter and John. Mm -hmm. And you know who else? That special relationship they had. Jesus in a circle. Mm -hmm. Ain't you glad that they was in Jesus in a circle? Mm -hmm. yes, yes. But I'm glad today that I'm also in Jesus in a circle. Yeah. Because he calls me as one of his own. Right. All because I believe that he is the son of the true and living God. Yes, 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 yes. So my brothers and sisters, the Apostle John writes to us today mm -hmm. to reassure Christians in their faith. Mm -hmm. Love for one another and love for God. Yeah. But then he also wrote to counter the false teachers. So as, you, as I begin to look at our text this morning, my brothers and sisters, I'm not going to be long before you, but I had to look back to chapter number four, chapter number four, to get an understanding on what and why John says what he says in chapter number five. Now, when you look at verse number 19 in verse number four, John reminds us of God's unconditional love. Look what he says. He said that we love him mm -hmm. because he first loved us. I don't yes, know about yes, you, yes, but yes, he, yes. he loved us first. Yes, 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 yes. Before we even thought about coming to him, he had already loved us. Yes, yes. But here's what John says. He said, but if a man say, mm -hmm. I love God, mm -hmm. and hated his brother, yes. John said he's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? That's right, that's right. And this commandment have we from him that he who loved God loves his brother also. Mm -hmm. So, my brothers and sisters, as I walk the text this morning, John is very familiar to us. Mm -hmm. Because John reminds us, starting at verse number one, as we walk this up to our text, John mentions being born of God. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you've heard that before in the Gospel of John, chapter number three, speaking to a man by the name of Nicodemus. You remember? Yes. Nicodemus asked the question, mm -hmm. how can a man be born mm -hmm. again? That's right, that's right. And Jesus right. went through the scenario and said he must be. Yes. He got to be yes. born again. Hallelujah. So here it is. John is reminding us again mm -hmm. that we must be born of God. Mm -hmm. That he who believes that Jesus is the Christ. Yes. This means believing that Jesus is his Messiah. Not just in generic sense. But that he gives us eternal life. Yes, yes. My brothers and sister John put great emphasis on the word love. Mm -hmm. But he never wants us to believe that we earn salvation by simply going through the motion. That's right. The songwriter said, give me something 
that I can feel. My brothers and sisters, if you don't feel the love of God in your heart, then you need a second touch. Because God's love will remind you of what he's done mm -hmm. through the sun, yes. through the cross, yes. through Calvary, mm -hmm. through his precious blood. Yes. It all yes. points yes. us to the one person who can redeem us from our sins. That's right. That's right. So my brothers and sisters, we're born of God mm -hmm. simply by placing our trust in him. All right. Deacon Austin, you can sing to him, mm -hmm. but if you don't know him, mm -hmm. then you just sing. sing. Yeah. But you got to get to know him, H-I-M, yes, um, yes. to get the meaning of the H-Y-M in. Because yes, the hymns yes, yes. point to him That's who right. has given us eternal life. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters, John says, everyone who loves him who begot also loves him, who is begotten of him. What John is simply saying is, being born of God has two effects. Mm -hmm. That you will love God, mm -hmm. and then you will love your fellow man. Wow. He said you can't separate the two. Mm -hmm. Because if you love God, then you have to love your fellow man. Yes, yes. John says to us, in order to love all people, the family of God means, like we said this morning, you got to get out of your boundaries. You got to go beyond the limits of the law mm -hmm. to love your fellow man. That's right. That's right. He says it's not about your denomination. Mm -hmm. It's not a special group. It's not even about your social or financial step. It's not even, even about your race. It's not even about your political perspective. Mm -hmm. He says it's not even about your theological persuasion. He said, any and all things, it's all about salvation. Right. That comes through none other than Jesus mm -hmm. the Christ. That's right. He said, if anything gets in the way, mm -hmm. he says, something is very wrong. Mm -hmm. But John said, God insurance plan mm -hmm. reminds us of God inclusive love. Mm -hmm. He said, by this, we know that we are children of God. He said, just as much as our love for the people of God reflects our love for God, expressed in, in obedience to God, he says, demonstration. Mm -hmm. He said, you can know it, but if you don't show it, mm -hmm. and then you can't really mean it. Right. My brothers and sisters, because love is not what it says, but love is what it does. And we reminded this morning, he said, when we love God uh -huh. and we keep his commandment, he said, a Christian who does not love God, he said, he doesn't keep his commandment. Uh -huh. That's right. He said, he's a little effect uh -huh. in the body of Christ. Yeah. And you remember what James reminded us. Of? He said, you must be hearers and doers uh -huh. of the word. Yes. 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 He said, my brothers and sisters, he said, if you're going to be true, and if you're going to be involved in ministry, mm -hmm. it's not about your official position or service in the church. He said the love of God is keeping his commandments. Mm -hmm. He said the one who said he loved God and yet walks in a lifestyle or conscious or disobedient is like the believer who says he has no fellowship with God. All right. mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, in other words, John said he walks in darkness. Yeah. And he is lying. <laughs> he tell a tale. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, God's insurance plan said whoever is born of God mm -hmm. overcomes the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. My brothers and sisters, John begins with the principle. He said, yes, so powerful. If we're born of God, we will overcome the world. Haven't you heard that somewhere before? Because mm -hmm. Jesus says, I've overcome the world. He said, you'll have trials mm -hmm. and tribulation. Yeah, yeah. But he said, but I have overcome mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. So if Jesus has overcome the world and we in Jesus, then we too have overcome the world. Yes, yes. 
my brothers and sisters, this is the victory that we have by saying overcome the world. It's our faith. Since believing on him is the key to being born of God, the key is the victory, which is faith. He who came by water and blood, most likely John means the water of Jesus, the baptism, the blood of his crucifixion. He said these are all consistent with the three. You know the three. The three that make one. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. They all make one. So we may be redeemed from what we have gone through. Our sins. Our sins have made us in darkness. He said but because of these three, we come to his marvelous light. Yes, yes. My brothers and sisters, John said, it's not that the Spirit is saying one thing mm -hmm. and the water is saying another thing yeah. and the blood is saying something else. He says unto us, he said, Jesus' life, death, and Spirit all tells us who Jesus is. Yeah. That yeah. it is in agreement that he is the Son of God. Yes, yes. That he bore the sins of this world. Mm -hmm. On Calvary's cross. Uh -huh. yeah. But John said, God's insurance plan. He said, He who believes in the Son has the witness in himself. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You look at me in the physical body, but there's something deep down on the inside. Right. That have changed me. It changed my walk. It changed my walk. It gave me a new body. It said, that for any man being Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away yes, and all yes. things Amazing. become new. Yes, yes. All because we believe on Jesus. Yes, yes. We receive the Holy Spirit as the inner confirmation mm -hmm. For our standing before God. When we refuse to believe on Jesus. We reject the testimony God has given in his son. Therefore we call him liar. With his unbelief. That God has given us the eternal life. And this life is in the son. This is God's essential message to man. That eternal life is God's gift. It's free to all. And all you have to do is receive it and believe it. John said, he who has the Son has life. Mm -hmm. And he who does not, does not have the Son and does not have life. Mm -hmm. It is all about Jesus. And the living in Jesus is all about evidence of eternal life. Yes. You're going to leave this body. Mm -hmm. This body going to go back to the ground in dust. Mm -hmm. But your spirit, yeah. mm -hmm. if you have the Son, mm -hmm. then your spirit have eternal life. Yes, he said, these things I have written to you that you might believe, that you might know that you have eternal life. Yes. And stating the message so plainly, John hoped to persuade us simply to believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, even if we already believe, he wants us to know for sure yeah. that you have eternal life. Yes, Lord. You have the assurance that when this life is over, yeah. as Paul said, to be absent from the body mm -hmm. is to be present with the Lord. With the Lord. Yes. Yes. That you might know mm -hmm. that you have eternal life. Yes. Yes. My brothers and sisters, John's confidence is impressive. Mm -hmm. He wants us to know for sure, yeah. without a doubt, mm -hmm. that you have eternal life. Yes. He said we can only know this. If our salvation rests in Jesus and not in our own performance. That's right. If it depends on me, then on a good day, I'm saved. And on a bad day, I just surely don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad yeah. that regardless of my good days yeah. and regardless of my bad days, yeah. Yeah. that Jesus don't change. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anybody know this morning that he's the same yesterday, yes. today, yes. and forevermore? Yes. And I come to tell you this morning that whether it's life insurance, whether it's life insurance, and whether it be your auto insurance, and whether it be your home insurance, I'm so glad that if it be your health insurance, that I'm not worried about it. No matter the risk, no matter the policy, Jesus has already fixed it up. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, without a policy, 
We hope for the very best. Yeah. And we hope that we remain accident free. Yeah. We hope that we remain healthy all of our days. Yeah. But the truth is, life is so unpredictable. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the Bible said life is filled with swift transition. Yeah. 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 In other words, my brother and sister, you don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. on tomorrow. That's right. But the good news is today my message is you too can have eternal life. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, all of the policies I have stated cost us something. Mm -hmm. If you want all state, it will cost you something. Mm -hmm. If you want progressive, mm -hmm. they will cost you something. Mm -hmm. If you want all state, they're going to cost you something. Mm -hmm. If you want USAA, they're going to cost you something. Yes, yes. My brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. but the policy of God protection plan, well. it costs God something. Mm -hmm. But it don't cost you anything. That's right, that's right, that's right. It's free to all that's right. that believe. Yeah. All you have to do is just believe. That's right. Believe in the Son. Mm -hmm. Paul said, if thou will confess with thy mouth right. and believe in thy heart yeah. that God has raised him from the dead, right. he said, thou shalt. Thou shall, thou shall, thou shall be saved. My brothers and sisters, our salvation plan was paid in full and was purchased with Jesus' precious blood. So allow me to share three things with you this morning before we get ready to get out of here. Allow me to share three things to focus on God's insurance plan. When we consider God's insurance policy, it includes his light, his love, and his life. Well, now, I had to go, Deacon also, I had to go all the way through 1 John well, to get my point. Mm -hmm. That's what the Spirit pointed me to. And, and when you look at the outlines in your Bible, you'll find out what it said. Point number one said God's insured light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, how many know since Adam and Eve sinned in the garden? Darkness creeped in. Yeah. And God had to bring about his insured light. Mm -hmm. And let me walk in it. It said in chapter number one, John reminds us that God is the light. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, in the sun, there is the light. Because Jesus said, I am the light yeah. yes, yes. of the world. That's right. And he who follows me don't have to walk in darkness. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's good news. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That Jesus is the light, the light, the light of the world. Yes, sir. Yes. But 1 John 1 and 7 puts it clear. Mm -hmm. He said, but if we walk in the light, yeah. as he is in the light, mm -hmm. he said, we have fellowship yeah. one with another. Hallelujah. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, uh -huh. cleanses us uh -huh. from all sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Cleanses us. Thank you, Lord. From all, all sin. Yes. But John chapter 1, 4 and 5 says, you remember? It's saying, in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was with God. And the word is God. But John 1, 4 and 5, Jesus said, in him was life. And the life was the light of of men. Yes, yes, and the light yes, shineth yes. in darkness. Yes, yes, and the yes. darkness comprehended it. In not. My Lord. brothers and sisters, light is used to symbolize God. Well. Faith and holiness throughout all the scripture. Yes. The darkness of sin covers the world. Yes. But God light gives everything mm -hmm. we need to journey by faith. That's right. That's right. Point number two this morning is God insured love. Wow. My brothers and sisters, in 1 John chapter 3 and 4, you'll see all of this love that I'm discussing. Yeah. John reminds his listeners that God is love. Mm -hmm. God love is the source of all humankind. Yeah. It's easy to say we love 
when it doesn't cost us anything. Yes, yes. But 1 John 4 and 16, look what he said. He said, and we have known and believed the love that God has to us. Mm -hmm. God is love. Yes. And he that dwells in love dwelleth in God. Yes, yes. And God is in him. Yes, yes. But I like old Paul. Old Paul in Romans 5 and 8, Paul said, but God commended his love toward us. Mm -hmm. yes. And that while we were yet sinners, yes, yes. Christ died for us. Yes. But then John, you remember the same John, the Apostle John in John 3.16, Boleg A. For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave mm -hmm. his only the God son. Right. Yes, 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 yes. My brothers and sisters, God's unconditional love mm -hmm. is the cement. Yes, yes. Not the sand, mm -hmm. not the water, but it said God's unconditional love is the cement mm -hmm. that holds the whole world together. Mm -hmm. And it is knitted in love mm -hmm. that we're able to overcome the world. Yes, yes, yes. You remember, you remember, the scripture said, love helps us overcome a multitude of sin. That's right. That's now right. that's love. Mm -hmm. But then as we go on, it said, God's love is not like anything else you have encountered. Mm -hmm. His love came to sacrifice mm -hmm. through his only begotten son, mm -hmm. who was able to carry the weight of the world. Point number three this morning, it says God ensured life. Yeah. Again, we don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. My brother and sister, we said, let me go back up. I got to make sure. We said God ensured life. Mm -hmm. God ensured love. Mm -hmm. Now it is God ensured life. In chapter number five, our verse, our key text this morning, John reminds his listeners that God is life. Mm -hmm. The first word in John 3.16 says the word for. Mm -hmm. And the last word says life. Mm -hmm. In other words, everything God does is for life. Mm -hmm. You can look at it. Everything that Jesus had done was to give us eternal life. That's right. He said that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. My brothers and sisters, we all have been blessed. Yeah. We all have been given a physical life. Mm -hmm. But we must secure eternal life by believing in Jesus, the Son of God. That's right. You might have the best life insurance policy. Mm -hmm. You might have the best home insurance policy. Yeah. You might even have the best auto insurance policy. But the real question this morning is, do you have the assurance through Jesus as your Savior and Redeemer? Yeah. My brothers and sisters, whosoever believes in God has eternal life. He has all that he needs. You don't need to wait for eternal life because it begins the moment you believe. You don't need to work for it because it's already yours. You don't need to worry about it because it was given to you through eternal life by God himself. It's guaranteed. You don't have to make no down payment. You don't have to pay for it month to month. All you have to get up and say, I believe that Jesus is the son of God. And all is required is that you believe. My brothers and sisters, maybe you're saying I got the best insurance policy but it's not Geico. Well, Maybe you're saying it's not progressive. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're saying it's not all state. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad this morning that our policy this morning is not made by the hands of man. Amen. Hallelujah. God's insurance policy is in the Son. Mm -hmm. And the scripture said, He that had the Son has eternal life. Yeah. No matter how hard it, life is, we're safe and secure in him. And nobody can snatch us out of his hand. Well. That's right. Somebody and some people believe and hope for eternal life. That's right. But John said, you know you have it 
when you have <coughs> to suffer. Mm -hmm. Our certainty is based on God's promise yeah. that he'll never leave us, nor will he ever forsake us. Yeah. So he gave us eternal life mm -hmm. in the Son. Yeah. This is true whether you feel close to God or distant from him. Eternal life is not based on feeling. Mm -hmm. It's based on fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can know that you have eternal life if you believe God's truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, can I tell you the story about our insurance plan? Yeah. Which was established over 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He came down through 40 and 2 generations. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, he was bought and prayed with, with the price. That's mm -hmm. right. It was bought through the precious blood of Jesus on Calvary's cross. He took a hit for you and he took a hit for me. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, they spit on him, they persecuted him, they beat him, they put a cross upon his shoulder, yeah. and then they marched him up a hill called Calvary. Yeah. He took a hit when he gave his hands to the nail, yeah. and he gave his feet to the nail. Yeah. He took a hit when they pierced him in his side, and he hung his head, and he died. Do you believe he died this morning? Yes, yes, Do you believe he yes, died for your sins and my sins? Yes, Do you believe that he died through yes, his precious blood? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But I'm so glad that's not the end so of the story. Because right. right. he took a hit yeah. when they put him in a barry tomb. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he stayed there all night Friday. Uh -huh. Well, he stayed there all day Saturday. Yeah. Well, he stayed there all night Saturday yeah. night. Yeah. But I got good news this morning. And he got up. He got up. He got up with all power in his hand. He got up. He got up. And all because he got up. Now he's seated at the right hand of the Father. Interceding on behalf of you and from me. Are you insured? I can't speak for you. All right. All right. Song we say is that mama can't do it. Yeah. Daddy can't do it. Yeah. Brother can't do it. Hallelujah. Sister can't do it. Hallelujah. But it's me, oh Lord, yeah. standing in the need of prayer. Yeah. I'm glad I'm insured this morning, right. friendship. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm glad I got my insurance policy. Yeah. Rafer told me, he said, J.D., I got my insurance policy. Yeah. He said, God don't do anything else for me. He said, he's already done enough. Yeah. 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 Can you say that this morning, that? Yeah. If he doesn't do anything else for me, yeah. he's already, he's already done enough. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I fixed it up with Jesus well, all right, all right. a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not worried about my soul. Because yeah. Jesus has already fixed it up. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brothers and sisters, God insurance mm -hmm. plan is in the Son. Yeah, well, yeah. And Jesus said, He who has a son, he has set free. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I'm free. I'm free this morning, all yeah, because of yeah. what Jesus has done through his precious blood. We're standing all over the building. We offer Christ. Mm -hmm. We offer the one yes, yes. who's able to save you, yeah. redeem you, yeah, yeah. and set you free. Yes, 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 yes. We offer the Son as a man who had one son. He sent his son off to battle. And his son died in battle. If you remember this story, the father passed away. He had a portrait of the son. And they had an auction. And they auctioned off the son portrait. And he had all this other material thing. But the one lady who was his caretaker beat it on the portrait. And as the man hit his gavel, after the lady paid for it, he says, it's over. That's right. The people was upset. Right. Said, what about all this stuff? Mm -hmm. 
The auctioneer said, who, who has the son? Yes. Has it all. I'm thankful this morning that I got the son. So I have it all. I have joy. I have peace. I have love. And I have hope. I have everything. I have everything that I need. God bless you. May keep you is our prayer. I'm going to ask you to sing.